my Mirko Koko. The surprising Grand Prix will be something I was waiting for a long time. It is exciting to see kind of the young up and kind of guys talk about the old pride fights and how much they enjoyed them. Um, but it also makes me feel really old. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because I'm not the only one then. <laughs> All right. This guy here, Young Man Young, believes this is the perfect opportunity to take on mixed martial arts legend and pioneer Mirko Krokop. This guy is a very relaxed individual who prefers to stay in and read during his spare time or watch movies as opposed to going out. Not that he doesn't like to be in crowds. He just likes to be chilled at home, doesn't need to go out in public. But when this guy steps into a ring, it's a completely different story. He's a big fan of StarCraft. Yeah. And you loved it. In the heavyweight division, that it's not about small fighters. There are big boys. Okay, we, just got, we got to be quiet this point now with this music. Goosebumps on top of goosebumps. Mirko Krokop coming out of Japan to Wild Boys. You gotta love it, Heath. I mean, it's every single time. Duran Duran. <laughs> Duran Duran. As we mentioned earlier, ladies and gentlemen, Mirko Krokop is in a different place right now. Very relaxed. Actually talked about the training that he put in for this camp and some of the numbers and measurements that he was going through. He was beating some of the time that he had when he was younger in his 30s. He said he's reached a whole new level of training right now. <laughs> oh, oh very aggressive right, right off the bat. The double underhooks and the, and the trip. Yep. That trip is exactly what he predicted. <laughs> he, he, executed exactly he said that yep. in this training camp, he yep. was dropping guys with this exact move yep. over and over again to the point where he said it's unstoppable. There's not a winner. They will go to an extra round, and they would only judge that round there. And here's Kim Mirko setting up the Kimura. <laughs> I think he's going to wear a gi in this next fight. <laughs> Landing those bombs here. Look at this. For head 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 this is what he was talking is about. Is he this got a tag for Krokop with the submission. Mirko with the takedown to the full mount to the head and arm choke. He's wearing a what gi. What is happening? Next he's fight. wearing a gi next fight. He's wearing a checkered Croatian flag gi. Ladies and gentlemen, Mirko Krokop sat in front of Heath Herring and I and said yep. he was exactly, going to do exactly what he just did here. No one can stop his, his take down, his trip. So he said. And when he gets down on the ground, I've got some surprises for him. He jumped on that head and arm choke like just a savage. There you go. Croatian Jiu-Jitsu. Can I, can I bring something up to you? Not only does Mirko Krokop advance in this tournament, I'm just throwing it out there. Potential rematch with Vanderlei Silva, seeing as Vanderlei is in this tournament. I mean, come on, everybody's been thinking about that since they announced it. I think I'm the official matchmaker for Ryzen right now. <laughs> That's Look at the hidden arm choke. Look it's at it, it's beautiful. Thank you for this great support. You have no idea how good I feel now yeah. and how happy I am to be here in Saitama again. Mo always comes out in, um, to the ring here in Japan with wrestling shoes, so he has a little more grip, so he's a little faster. We haven't seen anybody today with wrestling shoes yet. Now we'll see if King Mo is deciding to wear shoes tonight. Oh, I'm sure right here. And of course, King Mo, whenever you see him come to any ring, yeah, Some of the best baby. tracks. The, the, just these two gentlemen here with their music. A complete difference in the terms of music. You know, King Mo is going to come out to some hip hop. And of course, yeah. Mirko Prokop will be coming out to Wild Boys from Duran Duran. No guarantee, but there's a very good chance he's going to do that. Yeah, I think so. But dude. Oh, yeah. Mo's just, Mo's coming off a big win, what, a week and a half ago, two weeks yep, ago now, and a Bellator beat Ishii, beat him up pretty good. That when Wild Boys come on, I will stay quiet. <laughs> I won't. Is that it?
and his daughter. This is not where you want to be. You want to get a little more distance. I was just going to say the same thing. If you stand too close to Crow Cup, that's what he's looking for. And he wants to make sure that he's outside that front leg, that he's moving left. Less than one minute to go, and there we have here Kingmo looking for the double. Now he's clinched up here. 30 seconds to go. Look, there you see Miracle Krokop loading up there. He was looking to throw. There it is. That is a thunderous shot to the body. Oh, and it's Kingbo with the comeback. But Krokop's mouth is open, means, meaning he's tired. You don't fight with your mouth open. These two guys are not messing around here. Krokop again throwing those shins. With reckless abandonment, and, we're, and there you have the Kingo wanting to get that fight down to the ground. Do you think Miracle Pro Crop did enough to sway the judges in that round there? No, I don't think so. We talked about this with the wrestlers earlier tonight. They get focused on finishing that takedown, and they're focused on one thing. They're going to keep running. They need to stop that. They need to understand if the takedown's not working, you need to switch it up. That's the takedown I was talking about. A low kick, he caught the single leg, switched to a double, and won here. Now he's on his feet. Another hard head kick. Lisa's hands were up. Mo's not usually a guy that keeps his hands up. Nine out of ten times, that could have been that could have been really bad for Mo. Well, you can see when Krokop bites down on that mouthpiece, and he stops for that one moment. He loads up and he launches an absolute baseball bat your way. You need to be making sure you are blocking that thing or getting out of dodge. That one there, he did rock King Mo. And that's because your conditioning's not there. Oh, and a nice, nice right hand landed there by King Mo. Backing Krokop up. Oh. Krokop with the left cross, throwing out the jab right now. A little bit more aggressive in this round here. Let's go, right here, set it up. Finish. Oh, and now it's Krokop as King Mo in the corner, throwing those combinations, throwing those punches. Just Tigers. like that, you know, you, you get a big, powerful man. He puts so much force behind his punches. One punch can change a fight. I'm not sure how that works, though. You know, Here's, I, let's take a look here at the finish. You saw King Mo going in for that takedown, and then as soon as Krokop was able to land that, those combinations, it was nights, lights out, night over. The fans are absolutely cheering. And we're about to see all of the tournament competitors remaining in the Cy Games Presents Rise in Fighting World Grand Prix 2016 enter the ring. There is going to be some tension here, believe you me. Right now, King Mo is actually congratulating Mirko Krokop as we see Krokop's corner absolutely ec ecstatic that their fighter emerged victorious. Krokop did take a little bit of damage, and like he yeah. said in his post-fight interview. And there was a little and bit of bad blood, yeah. if we recall, at the post-fight press conference last show. Really? Krokop was not happy with Baruto. Here we go. Here we go, boys. New Year's Eve. It is so great to be back. I'm telling you, I'm loving it. sultry sounds of Lenny Hart, a voice many of us know for years and years. She just announced Baruto, who now makes his way to the Ryzen Ring. A massive, massive man representing Estonia, representing the sport of sumo. I think it was. All right, to respect the mixed martial arts community, we will let Wild Boys play.
see him closing the distance there, trying to throw punches. Prokop got caught with one punch there, and this is exactly yes. what Bruto wants. This is what we talked about, Joe. Pushing against the, the side of that ring and just keeping that power on him, wearing, wearing his opponent down. Uh, absolutely, and that is a lot of weight to have to carry. We see Mirko doing a good job squaring up right here. He's not really in any danger. He's just, he's just kind of getting smothered right now. By the exactly. Mirko needs to dig mm -hmm. an underhook and circle his, his butt back to the center of that That's cage. There you go. Oh, there he's, oh, he's down. down. There Mikoko, really got him. Down goes Baruto. Down, down goes Baruto. It's over. That's it. Unbelievable. I think, was over. A, I think it was a. I think it was a knee. I think it was a knee to the liver. If, if, I, if I'm correct. That was awesome. We talked about this yesterday, Joe. How violent those knees are when they land. Not this could not go any better for Mirko Prokop. He advances to the finals. He will compete later on this evening. He incurred no damage, and it was no over quickly. Yeah, I want to see the replay of this. It happened so fast. Victorious tonight. Look at this oh, replay. Right. Left, oh, the solar yep. plexus. left knee to the solar plexus. He turned through the left hand, and it was all over. Bruto that went right down to his his back, his his chest, to his hands and knees, and then he called the fight. Right. World oh. class striker, gentlemen. Yep. World class. Left knee to solar plexus. Well, Crook up said, you know what? I know you're down, but I don't trust that you're down. I'm going to go in there with a left hand to make sure you stay down. Yeah. A bout here at the Saitama Super Arena in Japan. As we can see here, Amir Aljakbari about to take on Mirko Krokop from Croatia. It is Iran versus Croatia. Representing Iran, the Greco-Roman wrestling world champion in 2010. Undefeated at 5-0. He has three first-round finishes tonight. The main event. He's made it through the tournament. He was the favorite heading in. And now he finds himself back in the rising ring for the third time in two days. Twice tonight. He will be taking on Mirko Krokop. Duran Duran, once again. Mirko Krokop, the 2006 Pride World Openweight Grand Prix Champion. K1 World Grand Prix 2012 Final Champion. 31 of his 34 wins have come by stoppage. He has 25 knockouts to his record. He is currently on a six fight win streak. This is a man that many people had said he needs to retire from mixed martial arts. And tonight, he proves that they were all wrong. And tonight, he will compete for this belt here. The Side Games presents Ryzen, champion of champions for 2016. Oh, what a bittersweet moment. I was playing with that belt yesterday, extremely heavy. I think that belt's bigger than you, Warren. It was. The longer the fight goes, it really, really the Greco-Roman world okay. champ, I believe, might have that. Well, I was just addressing more of the conditioning aspect. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm real biased when it comes to that. Pressure, pressure. 
Now Amir's really, he's got it. He, he's not circling as left as he should be. Mirko's really trying to set that left kick up. You can hear Mike Swick in the corner of Alec Bar saying, pressure, pressure. And you see him switching gears. Throwing another right hand there. Just missing. Krokop bobbing and weaving. Oh, oh left to the right hand to Krokop. See, Krokop he, he did that left kick. Yep, yep. And Amir's in trouble. Oh, that's it. That's a knockout. that left hook. What an unbelievable performance by the Croatian. Fantastic. Amir Yadikbar, he was the favorite heading in here. Mirko Krokop proves once again he is not done in mixed martial arts. He is still a force to be reckoned with. And tonight has proved it time and time again. He is the Saigaze Presents Rise and Fighting World Grand Prix Open Weight 2016 Champion. Yep. Wow. Mirko with that fantastic left hand. Straight on the button. Boom. Wow. Wow, I mean, that's what that's what you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, I know, yep. He well, threw that left hand right on, put right it right on, the on button. The, right on the button. He dropped him. He pursued him and finished him. Just right, that what right. Krokop does the best. You know, that left hand is what finished the fight, started the fight, started him on the way down and finished him when he hit the mat. And now, the gold medal, the trophy, the belt. All of this will go to Mirko Krokop. Here is the gold medal presented by Takata. And don't forget the dragons. He's going home with some hardware. I mean, you can't fly with that on the plane. They're never letting you check that in. That's a weapon. No. What happens is you have to put that in the cockpit. You have to get the okay from the, from the, I mean, from the pilot. That is one masterful trophy. That those talons, that those, those talons will take somebody's eye out. Saki Kibara, photo op there with the 2016 Open Weight Rising Grand Prix champion. Goodness, here it comes. And now I think uh, Krokop weighs as much as Baruto. There he is right now, the Open Weight Tournament champion, Mirko Krokop, a gold medal. Some bling on his wrist shortly. The gold belt wrapped around his waist. His team, his family. Joyous, overcome with emotion. An unbelievable job here, and he finally gets the watch. He's hearing. And he gets to go to Barcelona on a cruise. He gets to go to Barcelona on a cruise, that is correct. I hope he has ocean view. <laughs> Those interior cabins are just a pain. Let's hear from Mirko Krokop. <laughs> First of all, thank you for a great support for all three fights I had here in Rising. And uh, I can't explain it and I can't describe how happy and proud I am. I came here in this tournament with a lot of injuries, but at the end of the day, belt is here. This was a very hard camp for me and uh, maybe the hardest camp in my life. I want to thank to my team, to my friends who are today with me and uh, Without them, it wouldn't be possible. Yeah. Thank you one more time. This was a really special night for me. Ten years later, after I won Pride Grand Prix, so many memories, so many feelings are going through my head right now. And uh, what else I can say? I love you. Ashtemas. <laughs>